Hey everyone, Mark here from Visual Pro Detailing. It is bright and early on a Monday morning. We have got a brand new 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe. Woo, beautiful, beautiful little SUV. We're getting ready to start on a five year ceramic coating package. We're gonna have this for the next two days. I'm getting ready to wash it so that we can then clay it and then polish it and then prep it and then coat it. And I'm gonna kind of take you through that process. You're gonna be here along there with me. I'm gonna record some video and explain some of the things that we do and why we do it. And um, I hope that you love it and you see how much time and effort and passion and heart goes into every service we perform. Alrighty, so um, I'm getting ready to simply wash the vehicle. I've got my bucket buddy system here for my two bucket wash. I've got a separate bucket that I'm going to use to clean the wheel with. I've got um, some 3D yellow degreaser, which is great for wheels and tires. There's not a lot of contamination on these wheels, so I don't really need an iron bleeding product on them. I've got my foam lids here. because We're going to foam up the car before we wash it just uh, to help break down any dirt and grime that's on it and to really get some good lubrication so that there's no scratching or swirling induced into this beautiful brand new paint before we start polishing it so we don't want to work ourselves backwards. Some people will say, well, is all of this necessary just to wash a car? And um, I say yes, because whenever you're paying for a professional grade detail, you're wanting a professional grade job. You're not wanting to get um, steps to be skipped just because someone wants to save a few minutes. In the grand scheme of things, we're gonna have this car for two days. And the reason I book these appointments for two days is because we're gonna be applying something to the surface that we hope is gonna be there five years plus from now. So we've gotta do everything in our power to make sure that the preparation is spot on before we apply the product. Because it's just like anything else in life, preparation is everything. The actual application of the product is gonna take anywhere from three to four hours but the preparation beforehand is going to take anywhere from 12 to 16 hours before we actually start laying the ceramic coatings down. When we do these jobs and we accept payment for these jobs, we take them very, very seriously. We want to give our clients the most value as possible. And that's why we go almost to the ridiculous to make sure that everything is done right. All right, well, we're just doing a pretty basic two bucket wash. We just foam bath the, the whole car to break down that dirt. Um, we're using the two bucket method that's much more paint safe. You have a rinse bucket that you have a grit guard at the bottom of. It loosens all the dirt from your wash mitt. Then you have a wash bucket, bucket with your clean soap in it. And that's how we're gonna go ahead and wash this bad boy. All right, well, I just got um, the car back in the shop. I just got done washing it. I immediately pulled it in because I don't want to get any hard water spots in the vehicle. I want to dry it as fast as possible. The paint was in really great shape. Um, it was very little contamination on it. From what I could tell, I've still got a clay bar. So what I'm going to do, because I want to touch the paint as least as humanly possible, is I'm actually going to use a leaf blower. You can use an air compressor. They make specific car dryers. I just find these are the fastest, most efficient method, so there's nothing fancy to it. So I'm going to blow out, um, to blow off as much of the water as possible, and then I'm going to go through all the nicks and crannies and bottom line, body lines as well, um, like the the wheel barrels, um, the arches where the um, lug nuts are, and I'm going to blow out every single bit of that water that I possibly can, and I want this car completely dry before I start playing it and then polishing it later on because especially when we apply the ceramic we do not want any moisture at all, all in the vehicle because they can really mess up the ceramic application if you get even a tiny bit of water in your applicator pads. So let's go ahead and dry this thing off. Alright so we're going to go ahead and clay bar the Santa Fe here and um, a clay bar is just that. It's a piece of organic clay and it's used to remove contaminants off the paint. 
Sometimes people will have a car, they've had it for a couple months, a couple years, and they'll be like, oh, my, my paint isn't slick, it's not smooth anymore, and that's most of the time because you have bonded contaminants on the surface. How do you know if you have that? The simplest thing to do is take a little plastic baggie and gently move your fingers over the surface of the paint. And what that's gonna do is that plastic is gonna magnify anything that's on there. And most of the time when you run your fingers across that, it's gonna feel almost like sandpaper. You're gonna feel little bumps all over the paint. And if you feel that, that means that there is contamination on the surface and you need to decontaminate it and remove all of that, especially if you're gonna put any sort of wax or sealant or ceramic coating. You need a surgically clean surface because if you have contaminants on the surface, before you apply the coating, what's gonna happen? The coating or the wax or the sealant is gonna sit on those contaminants instead of sitting on the clear coat and then the product is not gonna bond and it's gonna fail prematurely. And then all your time, money, energy in, that you've invested is gonna be wasted because the surface was not prepared correctly. Let's go ahead and get this thing clayed so that we can get ready to polish. All right, so I've got my headphones on. Um, these polishers can be very loud and long-term. They can cause hearing damage, so I'm always listening to music or an audio book or something while I polish. Um, I've already clayed the car. We've got it really clean, and now I'm doing a light polish. Um, if you have swirl marks, if you have defects and scratches, this step can remove it anywhere from 70 to 80% of that. If you have a nice new finish, and there's no major scratches or swarm marks or anything like that, this will get you a, a brand new car gloss and it really is great. Um, I do the one steps at a pretty um, reasonable price. If we need a multi-step, which means like if we have to compound and then polish, it's much more time consuming. Um, it's much more labor intensive, product intensive, and that's gonna, gonna run a higher cost. But for new or newer vehicles that need very little paint correction. We do a one step, it makes it look fantastic. Even with a brand new car, a light polishing step can make a huge amount of difference between um, having a car that looks good and having something that absolutely pops. Alrighty folks, we are at the end of day one of polishing on the Santa Fe. Um, super, super glossy. Paint is in absolutely beautiful condition. We are going to start off first thing early in the morning tomorrow doing a panel wipe down. That was when we're going to use a solvent based product to wipe down all the paint the wheels, the glass, everything, so that it removes all the polishing oils from the surface. That way we have a surgically squeaky clean surface whenever we apply the ceramic coating to it. After that, we're gonna put the first coat, which is Crystal Serum Light, and then we're gonna wait three to four hours before adding the two coats of G-Technic EXO to all the surfaces. And we'll do the G1 glass coating after we get the um, G-Technic EXO started, because that only needs about 30 minutes to cure. So um, I'm gonna call it quits for the day. I've already been out here since, well, geez, a little after five in the morning and um, I will get started first thing early tomorrow and we will get the whole coating completed tomorrow. But that's kind of why it's a two day job. I mean, it's almost four o'clock now and I've been out here since a little bit after five getting things ready and getting my equipment ready and stuff like that because part of Doing this business, unfortunately, you don't just get to touch cars. Um, you have to respond to emails and um, you know contact people back that contacted you, send invoices, um, send um, quotes that people have sent in, and you have to be responsive to your other customers as well while you're still working on the car. And that's just a little bit of the insight of what goes on sometimes. Um, but tomorrow morning, 
it's going to be straight to the panel wipe, straight to the crystal serum light so that we'll have plenty of time for it to sit and cure before we put the XO on, which is the second and third coat of ceramic. All right, everyone, we're back bright and early. Um, we got all the polishing done and the, the detailing, the deep cleaning of the Santa Fe yesterday. Today, we're going to start off by wiping everything down with G-Technic panel wipe. And that is our prep product. And what that product is, is a solvent-based product, and it deep cleans the surface. It removes all the polishing oils, any dust, smudges, residues, and it gives you a quite literally a squeaky clean surface. You can take your finger and go rit, 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 whenever you um, whenever you touch the paint, which you shouldn't do anyway, but I'm just trying to give an illustration there. Um, and what that does is that prepares the surface for the coating because um, after polishing, even really good high quality polishes leave some oil and residue behind. That's how they work is by lubrication and leveling the surface. So we have to make sure we remove all that and have a really squeaky clean surface before we apply the coating. So I'm going to go ahead and do two, yes, two wipe downs of the car. Every surface, paint, glass, wheels, everything, um, trim so that we have a really, really clean surface and then we're going to be applying the crystal serum light immediately after we get done with the panel wipe. All right, so we've done the solvent wipe down. Um, everything is squeaky clean. We've got our applicator, our brand new towels. We've got our crystal serum light. I've already primed the pad with a little bit of product. So I'm gonna apply some working product. And we are gonna go ahead and apply the ceramic coating to the paintwork one section at a time. We're going to do a nice little cross hatch pattern to make sure we have good bonding. This is a solvent based product so we always use gloves. It's not good to be touching this stuff. I have a well um, fumigated garage here and shop so I usually wear a small respirator mask for the solvent. For the sake of the video, I'm not, but I will actually be putting that on once I do that. So what we're going to do here is we've applied it to this section of the hood. We're going to let it sit for about a minute, maybe two. And what you'll see, it's going to be kind of hard to see on the video, but the as it bonds, it'll actually start rejecting itself from the surface. And what looks wet here will actually kind of beat up on the surface. And whenever I see those little beads of leftover product being repelled from the surface, that's when I know when it's time to level. And this is the first of three coats. Um, we're going to be putting one coat of Crystal Serum Light and then two coats of EXO on the car. So I see it's repelling pretty good. I'm going to take my first towel Do a nice little wipe here. I'm gonna go way over the edge of my second towel once I flip it. And then I'm gonna take the other side of my second towel. I'm gonna to do a little safety pass here to make sure I didn't leave any product. Now, that's simple, it's easy, it's straightforward, but that's kind of the purpose of this is to um, have a smooth process. So I'm going to go ahead and recharge the applicator with product. And I'm going to do the rest of this section of the hood. I'm going to do a nice little spread pass here and then I'm going to smoothly put it all through this section here. Everyone says, well, man, how come it takes two days to apply these coatings? And I always say the, the coating takes usually about um, three to four hours, depending on what we're doing to it. It's the prep work 
ahead of time. That is what is so time consuming because if you don't prep the surface correctly, you're not going to get the best performance out of your coating. So again, we don't want to beat a dead horse. I always tell people after the first um, section or two, this gets really boring. I'm going to wait for this to bubble up and um, start repelling itself, which is my little visual sign that it started to bond really well. And then we're going to go ahead and level off this section and then work our way around the rest of the vehicle. We have a fully climate controlled shop, so hottest day of summer, coldest day of winter, we can still apply these coatings and get the absolute best results because the climate does not affect what we're doing. Whereas if you're not climate controlled, um, it can be done. I've done it many times, but it's certainly not as easy or straightforward from an installation perspective. All right. All right, folks. Well, we have completed the top coat here on the Santa Fe. We did the G1 glass coating. It cured. We applied all the XO to it, and the coating is now completed. Now, this is a really important part whenever we do these ceramic coatings is that it has to sit and cure overnight. It has to be at least full 12 hours before it gets exposed to the elements, gets rained on, gets wet, etc., etc. Um, you can't wash it for a full week after we apply the coating, but we really do not want to get it wet during those first 12 hours. So anytime I do a coating job, it has to spend the night in the shop before you can pick it up the following day. And we always talk about that whenever we set up appointments with people so that they know that they're not going to have the car back for that amount of time. Um, I'm going to fill out the warranty card and get it ready so that tomorrow, whenever this beautiful vehicle is picked up, it's going to be ready to go. It's going to be protected with a five-year guarantee. And the gloss is just absolutely ridiculous, even on a brand new vehicle. Thank you so much. I hope this shows some insight. It is now um, early afternoon, the second day, which I always get started really early. So we put about 16 to 20 hours total into this, and this is on a brand new vehicle. We have put that much time because um, that's what it takes to do it right. You can go to our website, visualprodetailing.com, and get more information about how you can set up your coding appointment today.